Hey everybody, it's Pete. Welcome to a new episode of Today's Best Stock Picks. It's Tuesday morning, December 29th. The year has just flew. Thank God it's almost over. <laughs> uh, today we have some tech stocks in the news uh, and in play that we haven't seen in a while. The market has attention on them right now. Uh, some of them don't have order flow. One of them does. It broke out to a really good clean entry uh, and, and a really obvious profit target right now too. So big thing we were looking at yesterday was for the market to hold the bid. Active day trading yesterday, <coughs> excuse me, uh, active day trading yesterday was not um, obvious, <laughs> for lack of a better way of putting it, I don't want to say boring, it's not really the right word. Um, there were a few pockets of opportunity, but for the most part yesterday was initiating uh, first pieces of new swing trades. Uh, we're going to probably end up doing that today. Disney is one of the new swing trades, I'll point out that chart, uh, and we have a couple more, but the big thing today is with yesterday's gap, a big discussion in the community was we needed to see the market hold the bid. And hold the bid simply means, I had a couple of questions about this from uh, in the comments. Hold the bid simply means that if you see a momentum move, which in our world, we talk that as well bid, we start to see a stock spike higher. You wanna see it go sideways because the, if it goes up and starts to pull back, they're not really holding the bid yet, but if it goes up and goes sideways, that's really healthy price action. So what that means is that new buyers or the existing buyers, the smart money, whatever you prefer to call it, are still there. They're following up with how they push the stock up or the market, and it's still there. They're not allowing the sellers to push the stock down. So when you see a stock go well bid, that's pretty significant. And those are the ones that you wanna make sure that they're in your watch list. So we're gonna take a look at the futures. I'm gonna show you how the futures are well bid after yesterday. Uh, hopefully we get that same follow through after the market opens. And then we have a pretty good list, some strong, some breakouts, a couple on pullbacks. Uh, and we got a decent, um, a decent portfolio, so to speak, uh, to put into our game plan today. So you can see here the futures. Uh, this is where we were yesterday afternoon. Here's where we are now, and they're up around 15. So as long as we hold the bid, we're in good shape, right? So what we want to start out first, we want to talk about Disney, which is a stock that we initiated a new swing trade on yesterday. Our first target in Disney is 186. So I want to be clear on that. CLSK was our trade of the day yesterday. We initiated the first piece of the trade a little bit later, used more day trading techniques because of the size of the gap. Still a good, clean trade. Uh, the trade of the day though, but before I get to the trade of the day, I want to talk about Apple is now approaching. We had 138 target on Apple when we broke through 120. It's been a slow uh, grind higher. Uh, but it looks like we're finally going to hit that this morning, maybe even right on the open. So again, we had a question about this yesterday. What do you do with these profitable trades? How do you manage these profitable trades? Now, for everybody, it's different. However, as a general rule that has stood the test of time, as you start to get up to your profit, you move up your trailing stop. You could scale out. You could ride it higher if the stock continues to go. But you need to walk away with something if you did the hard work and put that trade in. Uh, the other one I want to talk about, Amazon actually um, had finally punched through our 3250 level. You can see all, going all the way back to July, that's been the level pretty much that we've been watching, punched through it yesterday. First day that the stock went through it and closed above it well bid, which is very significant. Uh, so we're looking for follow through in Amazon today and 3500 would be the first target this week. Uh, Facebook is an interesting one because Facebook is uh, a stock, one of those tech stocks that exploded yesterday, had a great day but has zero order flow behind it. So this is one where you'd have less conviction to be more of a day trading idea, nothing that you'd be looking for a little bit longer term play until we break significant levels. However, Microsoft, uh, similar, except it finally punched through those levels. So 226, I want to be clear, the level I'm watching today, which we might get right on the open is 226, looking for a 252 initial profit target. Now, what's the stop loss? For me personally, it would need to close on the daily chart below 224. So that trade is pretty well outlined. But because it's the first time breaking through there, for me, again, my initial share size is going to be less because you look to the left, the order flow is not obvious. Buyers have not been doing something obvious for a while. So you can't look at that and say I have massive conviction, but this level is significant. So punching through the first time, if we get above that 226 level, it will be half of my position that I want to get in route to that 252 level. Uh, and if it closes below 224, no harm, no foul, simply part of trading, you pull, you get out of the trade and um, look to exit. One trade that's interesting, we called out a lot of the financial stocks yesterday. And uh, this stock has uh, performed very well since November. 
However, we're starting to see signs where this breakout, despite the fact that it's actually up $1.91 pre-market right now, we're seeing signs that we do not want to see. We want to see follow through. We want to see well bid. And we're starting to see um, got up there and failed, got up there and failed, got up there and failed. Now, granted, yesterday the market was uh, weak and the stocks actually followed through. And now when I say weak, obviously the market finished strong, uh, but the market really didn't do anything the rest of the day. So there wasn't follow through intraday. So here's what we're going to be paying attention to in Goldman Sachs. And we've had this happen in quite a few stocks recently. We're going to be looking for a test of yesterday's high, which is right around the 262 level. So today's price action right out of the gate, if you happen to be an active trader, we're looking for it to open higher, punch at or near yesterday's high, and see if the sellers come back in that shoved it off of the highs yesterday, which you can see a little bit better uh, on the intraday time frame right here. So this level is a level that it got to, couldn't get through. So today's price action, we're gonna look for it to get up to that level, test that level, and see if buyers or sellers do something significant up there. If sellers come back in and the price gets rejected immediately, have discipline because this is what happened the last time a stock did the same thing. And you can see almost the same setup where we had an optimal entry, a breakout that failed to close near the highs. The following day, it kissed that same level and sold off hard for the next two days. So be aware of that. A couple of stocks looking at as pullbacks today. Chewy is one of them. Chewy actually traded uh, into new highs, pulled back. What I don't like is the three closes below the open and this one coming out of um, a consolidation to the downside. However, if you look longer term on the stock, we are pulling back off of all time highs. So it's kind of like a golden rule of trading. You should always be looking to bid the first pullback coming off of all time highs. Best case scenario for me today after the market opens, you can see what looks like we're set to open a little bit higher. Best case scenario is that we actually open a little bit higher, pull back, test yesterday's low. We find buyers at yesterday's low, and then we look for a new long there. Uh, SFIX, extremely similar situation, as well as JMIA. I think JMIA I like a little bit more because it, it's a little bit more of an orderly pullback. So again, yesterday's low around 38 would have been the area I would be looking for support to be a new buyer, but it doesn't look like we're going to get that based on the pre-market trading. I still will be looking to initiate new longs in all three of those trades today. So a couple of breakouts, a couple of new swing trades, one trade Goldman Sachs, where you really want to be aware of that first test of the high today uh, and three stocks to be looking at to buy on pullbacks. Uh, so I hope you have an awesome day today. If you find these videos helpful, definitely click down and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to trade together for the next 30 days, definitely click that and learn about the bootcamp too. I'd love to see you on the other side. Have a great day, everyone.